In this video presentation, we will discuss about fungal reproduction, followed by fungal cultivation, and antifungal agents will be discussed. This lecture is the second part of previous video, Introduction to Mycology. The previous video link is available in the below YouTube description. Fungal reproduction. Unlike other microorganisms, in fungus, both asexual reproduction and sexual reproduction is seen. Asexual reproduction occurs by budding or by fission. In budding, progeny cells buds off from the parent cell. In fission, a fissure is created in the middle and then the two cells separates. This thing happens by mitosis. That is, from single cell, two cells are formed. So, as a result of asexual reproduction, asexual spores are produced. Examples of asexual spores are arthrospores, blastospores, chlamydospores, cunidiospores, and sporangiospores. First, we will see about sporangio spores. This is an asexual spores, where hundreds of sporangio spores are produced within a sac called sporangium. This sporangium encases these spores at the end of aerial hyphae called sporangio 4. Rhizopus, mucor, absidia are the examples of the fungi which produces this type of asexual spore. So, hundreds and thousands of sporangiospores are produced within the sporangium. These spores will be released out of sac, that is, released from sporangium and develop into individual hyphae. This is a microscopy image showing the sporangium which carries hundreds and thousands of sporangiospores in it. Another microscopy image showing the sporangium encasing the sporangiospores in it. This is a fast forwarded video. You can notice a round shaped structure called sporangium at the end of aerial hyphae. This sporangium encases sporangio spores. Next, we will see about cunidio spores. This is also an asexual spores. Here, multiple or single spore formed at the end of aerial hyphae. Unlike previous one, this is not enclosed in a sac. So, they appear in radiating fashion. Aspergillus and penicillium are the examples of the fungi which produces this type of asexual spore. This is a microscopy image showing multiple spores formed at the end of aerial hyphae, which is not enclosed in a sac. So, they appear in radiating fashion. Next, chlamydo spores. This is also an asexual spores. In the formation of chlamydo spore, first the cell gradually swells up and develops a thick resistant wall around them this is a resting stage where the spores develop due to nutrition shunned this is an electron microscopy image showing the chlamydospore where you can notice the cell swells up and developed into thick resistant wall fourth arthro spores this is also an asexual spores in the formation of arthrospore first the septum is created in between the hyphae then, this septum gets fragmented to form arthrospore. This is a microscopy image showing the arthrospore, where you can notice the septation and fragmentation of hyphae to form arthrospore. Finally, blastospores. This is an asexual spores. In the formation of blastospore, the progeny cells buds off from the parent cell to form into a separate cell. The process is termed as budding. With this we are at the end of asexual reproduction and the asexual spores. Next, sexual reproduction occurs by fusion or union of gametes. That is, fusion of male and female gametes. This thing happens by meiosis. That is, from two cells, one cell is formed. So, as a result of sexual reproduction, sexual spores are produced. Examples of sexual spores are zygospores, ascospore, basidiospore, and whospores. Now we will see about some of the terminologies in fungal sexual reproduction. The sex organs of fungi are termed as gametangia. The male sex organ is termed as antheridium, and the female sex organ is termed as hugonium. 
If, the male and the female sex organ, is in the same body, that is, in the same phallus, is termed as, monoecious, or, hermaphroditic. But, if the male and the female sex organ, is in the different body, that is, in the different phallus, is termed as, dioecious. Sexual reproduction occurs by fusion, or union of, two gametes. This thing happens by, meiosis, which happens by three stages, plasmogamy, karyogamy, and, spore formation. Stage 1. Plasmo, gamy. The word, gamy means, marriage, or union, in Greek. So in the first stage, the two haploid cells undergo cell fusion, for the union of cytoplasm. Ultimately at the end, there will be, single cell with, two pronucleus. Stage 2. Karyo, gamy. The word, karyon means, nucleus. So in the second stage, the two pronucleus in the cell, fuses, to form dikaryon. At the end, this dikaryon, unites, to form, diploid zygote. Lastly, in stage 3, this diploid zygote, undergoes meiosis, to form, haploid, spore. So, in the first stage, the two haploid cells undergo cell fusion, for the union of cytoplasm. This is termed as, plasmogamy. Ultimately at the end, there will be, single cell with, two pronucleus. In the second stage, the two pronucleus in the cell, fuses, to form dikaryon. This is termed as, karyogamy. At the end, this dikaryon, unites, to form, diploid zygote. Lastly, in stage 3, this diploid zygote, undergoes meiosis, to form, haploid spore. First we will see about, zygo, spores. This is, a sexual spore, where, the spores are produced by, fusion of, two gametes, that is, fusion of, male and female gametes. At first, the gametangial copulation, which starts with, the extension of two gametes. Later, the gametangia fuses, and form a, diploid zygote, which in turn undergoes meiosis, to form, haploid zygospore. This is, a microscopy image, showing the zygospore, where you can observe the, zygospore, which is produced by, fusion of two gametes. Zygomycetes, the class of fungi, which produces, this type of sexual spores. Rhizopus, mucor, absidia, are the examples of fungi, which produces, zygospores. Next, asco, spores. This is also, a sexual spore, where, the spores are formed, inside the, ascus. Ascus is, a cylindrical shaped, spore bearing organ. Generally, these spores are, present in, eight in numbers, in one ascus. This is a microscopy image, showing the ascus, carrying the ascospores inside. Ascomycetes, the class of fungi, which produces, this type of sexual spores. Aspergillus, and penicillium, are the examples of fungi, which produces, ascospores. Lastly, basidio, spores. This is, a sexual spore, where, the spores are formed, over the, basidium. Basidium is, a club-shaped, spore-bearing organ. Generally, these spores are, present in, four in numbers, in one basidium. Basidiomycetes, the class of fungi, which produces, this type of sexual spores. Mushroom, is the example of fungi, which produces, basidiospores. Classification of fungi. In previous video we have discussed about fungal classification based on morphology. Now we will see about, the other way of classifying fungus. Based on, sexual reproductive process. It start with, kingdom, mycota. Which has two sub-kingdoms, humicota, where primitive fungi, that is, molds with aseptate mycelium are classified. Next, eumycota, where advanced fungi, that is, molds with septate mycelium are classified. In, humicota, which comprises of, only one class, that is, zygomycetes, also termed as, conjugative fungi. This class of fungi produces, sexual spore called, zygospores. In, eumycota, which comprises of, three classes, number one, ascomycetes, also termed as, sac fungi. Number two, basidiomycetes, also termed as, club fungi. And the third class is, deuteromycetes, also termed as, fungi imperfecti, or, imperfect fungi. Because, for this class of fungi, the sexual reproduction is not identified. The class, ascomycetes produces, sexual spore called, 
ascospores. And, the class, Basidiomyces produces, sexual spore called, Basidiospores. With this we are at the end of, sexual reproduction, sexual spores, and classification of fungi, based on sexual reproductive process. Fungal Growth and Nutrition Nutrition As we already detailed in previous video. Fungi are, chemoheterotrophs. Lack, chlorophyll. Embedded in, food source, or medium. And undergoes, external digestion. Fungal Growth The difference between, fungal, and bacterial growth, are. Optimal pH for the growth of fungus is, 4 to 6. But most bacteria are well grown at pH of, 6.5 to, 7.5. Optimal temperature for the fungal growth is, 25 degrees Celsius for mold, and 37 degrees Celsius for yeast. But most bacteria are well grown at the temperature of, 37 degrees Celsius. Optimal sugar concentration in media, required for the fungal growth is, 4 to 5 percent. But for bacteria, it requires, less sugar, on par with fungus, that is, 0.5 to 1 percent. Oxygen requirement. Molds are, strict aerobes, and yeast are, facultative anaerobes. But bacteria are, aerobic too, anaerobic, depends upon the species. These are the difference between, fungal, and bacterial growth. The culture media, which is most commonly used for fungal cultivation is, saber dextrose agar, abbreviated as, SDA. Components present in this media are, dextrose, at a high concentration of 4%. Other components are, peptone, agar, and water. Finally the pH is, adjust to, 5.6, that is, acidic pH. As we already discussed, the optimal pH for the fungus growth is, between 4 to 6. At this acidic pH, the bacterial growth is, inhibited in fungal media. So, the two important things, the fungal media fulfills is, 1, the high sugar concentration, and secondly, low pH. For fungal cultivation, sometimes, SDA, is also, added with, chloramphenicol and cyclohexamide. Chloramphenicol is, an antibacterial agent, used to prevent, bacterial growth. Cyclohexamide are used to inhibit, saprophytic molds. The other culture media used, apart from saber on dextrose agar, and SDA with antibiotics are, potato dextrose agar, brain heart infusion agar, and, cornmeal, or, cornmeal tween agar. How the fungus are inoculated onto this culture media. For yeast, and mold, separate way of, inoculation method are followed. Inoculation method. For yeast, streak plate technique is done, like bacterial isolation. But for mold, point inoculation is done. After inoculation, yeast are, incubated at 37 degrees Celsius, for 2 to 3 days. But molds are, incubated at 25 degrees Celsius, for 7 days. After incubation, macroscopically, yeast appears similar to bacterial colony, that is, smooth surface colonies. But molds appears, cottony and spreading type of growth. Another image, shown here, the cottony and spreading type of growth. Microscopically. Yeast appears, oval to, round-shaped cells, under microscope. But molds appears, long end, branching filaments, and hyphase. Staining techniques. Yeasts are, stained by, simple staining technique, using, methylene blue stain. But, molds are, stained and mounted on, lactophenol cotton blue, that is, LCB stain. Antifungal drugs and their sites of action. Antifungal agents are mainly used to target against the, number 1, plasma membrane function, number 2, ergosterol synthesis, number 3, cell wall synthesis, and number 4, nucleic acid synthesis. Drugs like, amphoterosin B, and nistatin, are used to disrupt the, membrane function. Drugs like, fluconazole, and itraconazole, are used against the, ergosterol synthesis. Drug like, caspofungin, is used against the, cell wall synthesis. Drug like, 5-fluorocytosine, also called as, flucytosine, is used against the, nucleic acid synthesis. Next. The another way of, classifying funguses. Based on, tissue tropism. Number 1. Superficial mycosis. 2. Cutaneous mycosis. Next, subcutaneous mycosis. And lastly, deep mycosis. First we will see about, superficial mycosis. 
The word, mycosis means, the disease, caused by, fungi. So, the superficial mycosis means, the fungal disease, confined to the outermost layers of the skin. The disease condition, Malassezia dermatitis, caused by the organism, Malassezia pachydermatis, is a very good example for superficial mycosis. You might have noticed this type of infected dogs in the streets. This is a Malassezia pachydermatis skin infection. Detail about this infection will discussed in upcoming videos. Next, cutaneous mycosis, or dermatophytosis, or dermatomycosis. These organisms infect the keratin rich tissues, that is, keratinized tissues, like hair, skin, and nails. The disease condition, dermatophytosis, caused by the group of organisms under dermatophytes, like microsporum, trichophyton, and epidermophyton, which causes ringworm infection, and are very good example for cutaneous mycosis. Next, subcutaneous mycosis, or intermediary mycosis. These organisms target the deeper layers of skin, and often muscle. The disease condition like candidiasis, caused by congida albicans. Aspergillosis, caused by Aspergillus fumigatus. Sporotrichosis, caused by Sporothrix shanaki. Zygomycosis, caused by mucor. Rhinosporidiosis, caused by Rhinosporidium seabury. Lastly, deep mycosis, or systemic mycosis. These organisms infects the deep tissues and organs like liver, lungs, kidney, and etc. The disease condition like histoplasmosis caused by histoplasma capsulatum. Blastomycosis caused by blastomyces dermatitides. Coccidiotomycosis caused by coccidioidesimidus. Paracoccidiotomycosis caused by Paracoxidioides brasiliensis. Cryptococcus, caused by Cryptococcus neoformans. With this, we are coming to the end of Part 2 Lecture on General Mycology. In next video presentation, we will discuss in detail on Malassezia pachydermatis skin infection. Hope the lecture is informative and useful. Thank you.